Welcome to the Science of Getting Rich for Women podcast, where we unlock the secrets to wealth and prosperity. I'm your host, Jessica Marie, a radical money coach. And I'm Amy Bell, master designer, brand consultant, and founder of White Lightning Communications. Together, we'll dive deep into the scientific principles of wealth outlined in the science of getting rich, ensuring financial abundance with mathematical certainty. Join us for real, empowering conversations about money, wealth, and the mindset shifts needed for true prosperity. You're ready to rise up or already on your journey to riches. Tune in weekly for insights that will elevate your wealth consciousness. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Science of Getting Rich for Women podcast. As you know, I'm your host, Jessica Marie, and I do not have my co-host with me, Amy Bell, today. I am going alone, (laughs) and what's really funny that just happened is normally my partner, Amy Bell, the graphic designer, tech extraordinaire, always takes care of all of the um, pressing of the buttons and the technical stuff. Well, I was in the position to now take the reins on that task. (laughs) I literally thought that I was doing the podcast and I realized about 10 minutes in that I hadn't pressed the go live button. So (laughs) I am now doing take two. That is so funny. Oh my gosh. I am so glad that you are joining me for another episode of this powerful conversation where we dive deep into these principles that literally are transforming people's lives. You know, this book is 114 years old. It was written a long time ago. And I am just so amazed that I have just been introduced to it within the last year. And within that time, it's radically been changing my life and the way I understand the world and universal laws. This chapter, chapter seven, is one of my favorite chapters. If you are familiar with this book, you know chapter seven, gratitude, is one of the most uplifting and feel-good chapters. So here's the thing I want you to think about in your life. On a regular basis in your life, what are the thoughts that you think about when it comes to your life, your reality, your experiences? What are the stories in your head? What are the thoughts that you're thinking? What are the feelings that you're feeling about your life? Things are happening in your life every single day. There are unexpected curveballs. There are celebrations. There are all kinds of things. What are the feelings that you are feeling about your life? And then how do you show up in your life? You know, you are the star in your own movie. How do you show up? How do you behave? What do you do as a result of the way you feel, which is a result of the way you think about your life? And then finally, what are the results that you are experiencing in your life? What are the the unfoldings that you are witnessing in your life? Because they are a direct result of how you show up, the choices you make, the way you behave, which is a, a direct result of the way you feel which is a direct result of the way you think about your life. Now, I'm going to tell you that if you are someone who can live in a state of gratitude for all the blessings and opportunities that are bestowed upon you, you will become an energetic match to receive more. You will become a magnet for more of what you desire. What is it that you desire? 
Do you want more wealth? Do you want to feel free? Do you want more opportunities, connections, collaborations? Whatever it is that you want, you can have it. You can have more of it if you are in harmony with the natural universal laws. And that one being gratitude. So the natural law is not gratitude, of course. It is cause and effect, right? So when you are in a state of gratitude for all the things that have been bestowed upon you, you literally become a match to receive more. So let me just refer to the book here for a second because Mr. Waddle says it so perfectly. Chapter seven, gratitude. He talks about the first step towards getting rich is to convey the idea of your wants to the formless substance. Remember the formless substance is the space between everything in the universe. It is an intelligent thinking stuff and it permeates and penetrates the interspaces of the universe. It's here. It's everywhere. It's in the formless. And when you can convey and impress your desires, your wants upon this formless substance, this intelligent substance, this thinking substance, then you will begin to move that formless thing that you desire into form. But also, and also, you must relate yourself to this formless substance in a harmonious way. That harmonious way being in a state of gratitude. He says this whole process of mental attunement can be summed up into one word, which is gratitude. He says, first, you have to believe that the, that there is one intelligent substance from which all things proceed. Second, you believe that this substance gives you everything you desire. And third, you relate yourself to it by a feeling of deep and profound gratitude. See, this is the thing that I noticed with people is that they are either focused on the lack or they are focused on the abundance. When people are focused on the lack, they create more lack. That's the law of cause and effect. When you are focused on the abundance, you attract more abundance. And so what is it that you want? Do you want lack? Do you want limitation? Do you want separation? Do you want pain? Do you want suffering? No, of course not. You want wealth. You want prosperity. You want freedom. You want harmony and cooperation and peace and power. You want all of those things. So if you can begin to focus on those things that are apparent, that are present in your life every single day, you will begin to attract, attract more of those things in your life. What are some things that you can be grateful for right here, right now? You are so wealthy already. And yet, yes, you desire more. But if you're not focused on the fact that you already are wealthy and are grateful for the wealth that you already have, you're not going to be a match to receive more. He says there is a law of gratitude and it is absolutely necessary that you should observe this law if you are to get the results that you seek. You see, this law of gratitude is the natural principle that action and reaction are always equal and in opposite directions. The grateful outreaching of your mind in thankful praise to the supreme is a liberation or expenditure of force, it cannot fail to reach that to which it is addressed, and the reaction is an instantaneous movement toward you. So when you are in a state of deep gratitude for what you already have, that state of being is an energetic frequency. 
It goes out to whom it is addressed. You can call it God, source, the all, infinite intelligence, the universe. It reaches that whom it's intended, and then it turns around and comes right back. That is the natural universal law of cause and effect. So being in a state of gratitude for what you have is actually going to bestow more benefits upon you, more blessings, more opportunities, more of that which you desire. And here's the thing. Your mind is so powerful. You literally can create whatever reality you want. Now, whether you are waking up to this truth now or you have known it for a while, you get to play with this power that you harness. You literally have the ability to create whatever reality it is you want to desire. And it all starts in the mind. What do you focus on? And are you in harmony with the supreme intelligence that gives you everything you want by being in a state of gratitude? He says, the moment you permit your mind to dwell with dissatisfaction upon the things as they are, you begin to lose ground. You fix your attention upon the common, the ordinary, the poor, and the squalid, and the mean, and then your mind takes on that the form of those things. And then you transmit these forms or, or mental images to the formless, and then the common, the poor, the squalid, and the mean will come to you. What are you focusing on? What are you envisioning? What do you desire to see? Your mind is a powerful, powerful tool. You have the ability to create your reality however you want to see fit. What are you focusing on? We are thinking substance, and thinking substance always takes the form of that which it thinks about. The grateful mind is constantly fixed upon the best. Therefore, it tends to become the best. It takes the form or character of the best, and then it will receive the best. So this is so important. It's so important for you to understand that what you are focusing on is where you are going. If you are choosing to think about, focus upon, talk about the poor, the lack, the limited, your mind begins to take that form. And then you create more of those forms. Your mind creates whatever, sorry, your, your life, your reality creates whatever it is your mind is thinking about. You're going to want to pay really good attention to this because as me and the ladies of the Money Mind Mastermind have been doing the core four now, um, day after day after day, this is so important. We focus on that which we want. We only allow our mind to create the clear mental image of the things that we desire. When we have um, a thought of lack or limitation, we cast it aside as if it's a sin. We only focus on that which we want to be, that which we want to do, that which we want to have. We do not allow our minds to focus on any lack or limitation or separation. It is necessary then to cultivate the habit of being grateful for every good thing that comes to you and to give thanks continuously. I mean, can you imagine for a second two women living side by side? They both live in the same house. They both have the same jobs. They both make the same amount of money. They both have the same basic set of circumstances. And yet one woman 
is always complaining. She's always blaming other people for her circumstances. She doesn't take responsibility for her participation in the unfolding of her reality. And as a result, she just complains more and blames more. And she's miserable. But let's suppose you have another lady who has the same set of circumstances. She makes the same amount of money. She lives in the same house. She has the same job. But instead of complaining and blaming and not taking responsibility for her life, she's focused on all the blessings that she has and that are being given to her. She's so thankful. She's grateful for everything that happens to her. She receives an unexpected check in the mail and she gives thanks right away with a deep sense of gratitude. As such, she raises her vibration and she becomes a match for more. She's in a constant state of gratitude. She has a hot shower and she's so thankful for the unlimited supply of hot water at her fingertips and she feels rich. She walks her dog and she's reminded of her healthy body, her strong legs that allow her to enjoy the, the walk in nature with her dog and she's grateful. She's constantly reminded of the blessings that she has. All of the wealth and abundance that are surrounding her every day. And she says, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That woman, that woman is going to receive more blessings, more opportunities, more connections, more potentials and possibilities because being aligned with that energy of gratitude allows you to receive more. This is really important if you want to create a life where you are receiving more opportunities you are having more blessings come your way. This is so simple. You don't have to you don't have to spend money to be able to harness this power. This is available to you now. You can begin to integrate this and implement this into your life and experience the results. Become a scientist like I did for Q1. Decide I want to try this on. I want to play with this and see what happens. I guarantee you things will start to shift in your reality because this is an exact, exact science and failure is impossible. That's really exciting. So chapter seven in this book, The Science of Getting Rich for Women, which by the way, is on Amazon. And if you want your own copy, I encourage you to get your own copy. It is only, um, I think $12 on Amazon in the US right now. It's $15.99 in Canada. This book will change your life. If you study it, don't just read it, consume it, put it down, and then it's done. If you really study it and integrate the principles within it, it will begin to change your life. This is so exciting. This is what I've been doing myself and with the women inside the money mind. In fact, um, I'm actually doing a free five-day challenge starting um, May 13th. If if this is something that interests you. In fact, I'm going to be doing this every single month. So no matter when you're hearing this podcast episode, I'm going to be doing a five day challenge every single month to introduce you to my daily ritual, which I call the core four process. 
the daily core four ritual that beautifully complements the principles in the science of getting rich has exploded my life. I shared all of the results in, um, in a video, which you can check out either inside the Money Code Facebook group, or you can catch it on um, the YouTube channel, on my YouTube channel. I revealed the results of doing this core four ritual every single day, as well as integrating these principles. And I'm telling you, what has been unfolding for me is magical and miraculous. And it's no surprise. It's no surprise. I'm not anything unique or special. Okay. Or maybe I am, but that means you are too, because you see, we are one. We are all made from the, the same potential, the same energy. We are all cut from the same cloth, if you will. And so if I can do it, you can do it. So if you're interested in joining my free five-day challenge where I'm going to be sharing with you my core four daily ritual that has increased my income by 354% just in the last quarter alone, that will help and support you to attract more of what you want. Because I know you want to get rich and there's nothing wrong with getting rich. In fact, getting rich is a part of the human experience. We need to have money in order to develop our talents, to unfold our soul, to learn. We need to have the use of things. And so our world is so neatly organized that we need money in order to buy the things that we can learn, that we can do, that we can have, that we can experience. And so money, we need to have money. We've got to become rich in order to develop our talents and unfold our soul. So there's nothing wrong with wanting to get rich. So if you are not familiar with my Facebook group called Money Code, The Science of Getting Rich, it's a free group. And in that group, I have a three-day masterclass. It's pinned to the top, day one, day two, day three. And I take you through this book. I share with you the principles in this book so that you can integrate them into your life and you can get the same results. If this is something that interests you, you can, you can get access to this absolutely free by joining the Money Code, The Science of Getting Rich Facebook group. So if the great thing about doing this podcast live is that you have the opportunity to chime in. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, feel free to, to chime in. And um, I would love to answer any of your questions or just riff on something that maybe you're not sure about. Maybe there's something that you're in resistance to. Um, this is the time to do it. So the book and the chapter on gratitude, it will change your life. This chapter is life changing. You know, at the end of this chapter and at the end of every chapter, I have a section called contemplation and expansion. And what it does beautifully is it sums up the chapter and it gives you some questions to contemplate. At the end of this chapter, in chapter seven, it's summed up beautifully. And it says, gratitude defines the whole process of relating yourself to the formless intelligence in a harmonious way. And it requires absolute belief. You must believe that that there is one intelligent substance from which all things are created. And you must believe that this substance gives you everything you desire. Finally, you relate yourself to it through a feeling of deep and profound gratitude. 
Gratitude follows the natural law of cause and effect. That action and reaction are always equal and opposite in direction. Giving thanks to the supreme power is an expenditure of force, which is the cause. It cannot fail to reach the source. And as a result, God responds with an instantaneous movement towards you, which is the effect. Maintain gratitude at all times for what you have in the present moment, as well as the blessings that are on their way. And fix yourself upon the best, and you will become the best. How can you incorporate gratitude into your daily life? What changes can you make to upgrade your life and surround yourself with only the best. This is an an upgrade to your life. If you want to experience more wealth, more freedom, more peace, more harmony, it is absolutely necessary that you relate yourself to the formless substance with a deep state of gratitude for everything that you have and everything that is on its way. This will change your life. I want to thank you for joining me and I will be back next week, hopefully with my co-host. I'm pretty sure she'll be here back next week. And I can't wait to dive into another chapter of this incredible life-changing book. The Science of Getting Rich for Women. Bye for now. Thank you all for joining us today on the Science of Getting Rich for Women podcast. Your presence means the world to us. Before you go, we have a special request. If you found today's episode enlightening, please take a moment to leave us a review on your favorite podcast platform. Your feedback helps us reach more incredible listeners like yourself. And don't forget to share this episode with your friends and family who are ready to rise to new levels of prosperity. Before we sign off, remember to connect with us on Facebook and get yourself a copy of The Science of Getting Rich for Women on Amazon. As we close out today's episode, remember how powerful you are. Hold strong with faith and purpose that you do get what you want and watch as the universe conspires to fulfill your dreams.